Here we're looking at a tree in the family Juglandaceae in the genus Juglans, and this is the specific epithet is nigra. This is black walnut, and the full species name would be Juglans nigra. Black walnut does produce an edible fruit, the walnut, and it also produces really high quality lumber or timber products. So a highly prized tree when grown in a stand specifically for timber production. The trees on campuses and in your yards probably not worth a whole lot in terms of their wood value. The bark on black walnut I think has a very distinctive pattern and coloration. You can see flecks of browns, grays throughout and that creates a very distinctive coloring. However, you might need to look at many different black walnut to appreciate that difference in color. Here's, an, here's another black walnut. We can see then this sort of interlacing pattern where the bark ridges come to a bit of a point as opposed to being completely flat topped, sort of irregular but maybe slightly uh, diamond shape in the patterning. Black walnut leaves and buds are alternately arranged. We can see that here. It has a fairly prominent terminal bud, and the terminal bud has, it's fuzzy, so it has little hairs. This one is just developing, so this whole part of the twig and the bud will turn a little bit more on the gray side as we move further into the fall. Here you can see the petiole is attached, and then inside where the petiole is, or just where the petiole attaches to the twig, is another bud. Here's a closer look at the pinnately compound leaf. Remember from here, all the way to the top, is a single leaf, and each blade is a leaflet. This center part is called the rachis, and this end part here would be the petiole where it attaches to the actual twig. If you feel these or rub them around, it does have a distinct sort of texture and smell if you smell your hand. Right here where it's bright green is where I tore off one of the leaves prematurely, but this re resulting scar is typical of what you would see for black walnut. Uh, some have noted that it looks a bit like a monkey face. You can see these lighter green spots on the inside and those are actually the vascular bundles, where the xylem and phloem run uninterrupted from this leaf scar all the way down the twig, the trunk, and into the roots. The inside of the twig, the center, is called the pith, and here you can see it's chambered, or individual little sections broken off from the pith. This makes a distinct feature for black walnut. The black walnut fruit is comes out looking like this. This one uh, fell off early, so it's a little distorted, you can see, um, but it would be about maybe a little bigger than golf ball size, but this is the color. And why you can't get smell over video, if you rub your finger or thumb against it and then smell that, it's got a very distinct black walnut smell. And that's true of the leaves and the newest growth on the twigs. Here's the inner shell once you peel away the outer green fleshy husk. And then inside of here would be the actual seed. Here you can get a sense of the appearance of black walnut from a distance away. You see that the leaves being pinnately compound can readily be seen once you know what you're looking for. There happens to be several black walnut here, and I think it's useful to look at multiple trees to get a better sense of overall form and structure.